Hello, my name is Luce Rowlands. I am a nutritional balancing practitioner, and in this video, I am going to talk about uh, some of the things that happened to me when I first started the nutritional balancing program. Now, there's a few things I think people wrongly assume about starting any healing program, and I think <coughs> one of the major challenges is people assuming that they're just going to feel better and better and better and better and better. And, you know, obviously we hope for that to happen with people, but one of the biggest reasons why a lot of people are actually feeling sick is because their body chemistry is just way out of balance. Um, they also need to heal organs, they also need to detox metals, and all of this has its consequences when healing. So the Nutrition Balancing Program, for example, is primarily a detox program so when you're detoxing the body obviously these toxins are going to be coming into the bloodstream and that's going to flare up um, old symptoms flare up infections and just make people feel worse in general uh, if you want in, if you heal an organ for example this takes up a lot of time and energy so you might feel fatigued and tired sometimes um, and obviously if you're switching body chemistry from one extreme to another then this brings its own caveats as problems as well so one of the biggest challenges most people get when they first start is just it's a, there's just a shock to the system. So you know a person might have been brought up on sugar or dairy or wheat um, or have a hectic lifestyle, for example, and all of a sudden they're cutting out sugars, they're cutting out carbohydrates, and they're switching over to this vegetable-based diet for the most part. And this is a shock to the system. The system isn't prepared for it. A lot of people's bodies are used to running off sugars and carbohydrates um, and the body has to kind of shift itself uh, to start learning how to process things like fats and proteins as its main form of energy. And this is a big shock to people, it can make people feel fatigued and tired and depressed uh, when in reality the body's just having to shift through um, into a different way of being. Now. You know, when I first heard about the program, I just naively just assumed that I would just feel great um, after a few weeks or a few months or, you know, even straight away. And that didn't really happen for me. Um, when I first began, the biggest thing that, f that first happened to me is I started getting uh, intense insomnia for like two weeks. Um, and this was down to the fact that I'd stopped eating sugar. Um, I was basically having sugar withdrawal symptoms and I was up for about two weeks um, and I was shaking, um, I was sweating, um, shivering and it was a very very unpleasant unpleasant symptom. Um, another thing that happened to me was I ended up getting like extreme fatigue, I was actually more fatigued in general than what I was b before the program so that's obviously very kind of shocking to me, you know, I, th I was thinking sometimes it wasn't working um, but again, I realised that, you know, one, I was in sympathetic dominance, so I was in a constant fight or flight, so I had to switch out of that into a more parasympathetic state, which is restful. Um, also, the body is using up energy, massive amounts of energy to, um, to, to, to detox, to change its chemistry, um, and all this kind of stuff. Um, and, you know, also things like detox and stuff also makes you extremely tired. So, I mean, I fell into kind of extreme fatigue. What really happened was that the, that the, the scaffolding, the crutches that my body had put up around itself to keep itself going had been removed and the inner exhaustion and the inner tiredness um, was actually kind of coming out and, sh and showing itself. Um, so, there's other problems a lot of people get on the program, uh, one of the biggest ones in the beginning, and again it was for me too, was that people seem to be extremely extremely sensitive to supplements. Now a lot of people just assume that the supplements are not working or whatever, um, and what's difficult is you'll take the supplements, you don't even realise it's the supplements that might be keeping you up at night or making you feel a certain way, um, and you know it's something to, to be aware of. So. The problematic supplements for people in the beginning of the program usually are the ones that are more stimulating because they'll end up keeping a person awake. So if you're reading the, if you're watching this and you're having problems in the beginning, 
Um, Megapan is often a um, a problem for people because it can keep people awake because it's stimulatory. Same with thyro complex. Um, same with lymphomene. Any of the glandular formulas basically um, can be problematic. Um, in particular, they all can be, I suppose, to a certain extent. But I'm just talking about the main ones: uh, selenium, uh, vitamin C, uh, kelp. Kelp was a big one for me. When I first started taking kelp, I got um, intense insomnia again. I was really, really jittery. My body wasn't used to it. Uh, Megapan uh, kind of gave me this wound up sensation, like I was, you know, like my skin was crawling or something. It wasn't a nice feeling. Um, Thyro complex can do that. Zinc, I could not handle at all. That gave me a really shivery feeling, like um, really intense. I can't really explain it, basically. It wasn't very nice. Um, vitamin C can also be problematic for people. Um, I think they're the main ones. So that's something to be aware of, um, especially when you first start the program. Um, some people are fine, most people are fine, but pe people that are especially sensitive um, tend to have uh, more of a problem. Uh, enemas. Enemas was quite fascinating for me actually when I first started the enemas in the beginning um, because they really like relaxed me, like my depression lifted. Um, for the first time in a long time, so that that was very interesting. But something severe quite happened to me in the sauna, um, and again, I think it's a common error for people in the beginning: is they'll they'll do saunas for too long, they'll they'll not realise how powerful the sauna is. And for the first sauna session, I actually ended up getting heat stroke. Um, you know, obviously that was I was hallucinating, um, not sleeping right. Um, the main problem was I was doing too too many basically. I was doing it for too long, um, and it caused me to get insomnia. Uh, so that wasn't nice. That's something to be aware of as well. You need to, you know, kind of be careful, treat the program with with some respect because um, it can it can it can really. Um, cause, it can cause harm if you're not doing it properly, you're not listening to your practitioner, you're not aware of certain things. Um, I think they're the main ones really. Um, another common issue is uh, weight loss. I end up losing one and a half stone in weight in about one and a half months, so my family was really, really worried about me. This is the biggest problem as well, is that people's families start, get, start getting worried about them, and it's understandable. Um, it can stop people from doing the program, people think they're getting worse, they're losing weight, they're, they're feeling more fatigued, they're having all these weird symptoms, detox reactions, etc, um, etc. Et so that can be really, really problematic for people. Um, other issues, I end up getting really hungry. This is another problem for people, they end up getting really, really hungry. Um, I I think in the beginning that's kind of down to two things. One is the body is all is getting an, an influx of minerals all of a sudden, so the body's trying to get as much as possible. Or the other issue is that the, the although the body was sick before, it it was used to getting certain minerals and nutrients to keep it alive. It was surviving, and it's it built an equilibrium for itself. So it's wanting these specific minerals and nutrients in these certain uh, ratios that the person used to have more. I believe it's the former, but that could be also a problem as well. The trick is simple, just to eat more if you can. Uh, chicken's usually good with some salt, um, turkey, things like that to snack on if you're feeling hungry, um, that's all good. Um, so that's basically it really, I just wanted to give people like a bit of a bit of a brief understanding about you know um, what could happen to you in the beginning of the program as I say like I found it incredibly difficult um, you know um, various different things was happening to me headaches 
I remember I started dreaming for the first time ever, which was which was a positive, of course. I mean, obviously, I, there, there were positives, or I would would wouldn't have kept on going. You know, my brain fog was improving, my clarity of mind was improving. They were the main things, really. Uh, the candida that I had in my ears chronically was starting to disappear, so I knew that there was something there. Um, and you know, the trick the trick was just to keep reading Dr. Wilson's articles, keep learning, keep developing yourself, keep figuring things out and you know you'll you'll get through it eventually so that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it uh, please subscribe uh, please sign up to our newsletter I'm creating a brand new nutritional balancing course it's going to be very very high quality um, updated with all the latest information so that's something you need to be looking out for also I'm going to be revamping the YouTube channel pretty soon uh, giving the web giving the website an update changing all the descriptions etc um, just to make the channel look a little bit more fresh um, and the camera work is going to be more on point. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.